What is up, guys? Welcome back to the channel, and let's talk some sui, sui, however it's pronounced. Let me know down below in the comments for all you linguistics majors out there, but I want to talk about this crypto not because of how it's pronounced or how you spell it, uh, none of that. We're going to talk about it because this is one of the most bullish cryptos for me in 2024, and quite frankly, the next um, 9 or 12 months that we're going to be diving into uh, what I believe to be one of the more exciting times in my lifetime for crypto and price action and all that good stuff. So we're going to break this down. We're going to look at the chart. This is going to be more TA centric as well as some of my thoughts on what's going on with everything. Uh, Sui, Sui, uh, I believe it's Sui. So that's kind of what I'm going with. Um, and this is where we're going to dive into exactly what's happening. But before we do, um, if you do hold it, uh, I don't believe not a lot uh, too many. I don't believe enough people are talking about it. So I'm going to continue to talk about it, uh, so please uh, absolutely consider subscribing down below to my channel, and if you haven't done so, absolutely destroy that like button below. All right, so let's get into it. Uh, let's dive into that chart, and as always, guys, please remember, as always, not financial advice. This is just my thoughts and expressions you know, with, all, with everything that I'm doing within crypto. Make sure you guys do your own research, all right? Uh, but with that being said, I want to share with you kind of what my trading indicator has kind of announced uh, back in September how we did get this early uh, explosion before this uh, green candle absolutely ensued. Uh, 85 cents all the way up to $2.05 where we're currently trading at right here right now, okay? Now, it, it's kind of funny uh, what's going on right now. And when you do get this steam, right, um, this is called, uh, this is borderline godly in terms of a candle, okay? But when you do get this, right, now we have a lot of, uh, people trying to come at SWE. Um, there is a lot of insider selling allegations. Um, is this something where we're going to see this a lot? Um, you know, well, right now we're seeing the foundation kind of talk about it more so. Uh, there has been a triple digit rally that we've seen from SWE. Um, and this is something where we've seen uh, a lot of allegations come behind the scenes for this. So that is the only thing that gives me pause is the FUD. And it's just like everything else in the world, in life, in crypto. When you do have success, people want to come at you, right? Nobody ever gets, uh, you know, never. nobody ever makes the news at the bottom of the mountain, okay? They always want to know it's the person at the top. We, we see that time and time again with our lives and our day-to-day -day, uh, when you see all these problems that we have in the world. In the news crews and everything you see on, you know, Fox News, CNN, whatever, they're not at the ground level unless it's going to help them get views. They're at the source. They're at the, the monster at the top and they're going right to the mouth of the beast. Okay. But that's enough about kind of philosophy. And I digress into back into my crypto conversation because right now the rumor is that there has been a large foundation wallet, uh, the Sweet Foundation selling $400 million in tokens throughout this run-up. Well, that is very fascinating because if we did have 400 million left, now obviously there's not going to be one big punch, but uh, basically siphoning out along the way, 400 more million dollars, and I'll, and I'll just kind of translate this into uh, market cap here if we can do so. Um, and for some reason, I'm not able to show that right now. Uh, that's kind of where um, it's it's okay because we don't need to worry about that. Um, anyways, uh, it's kind of where you have to look at it at a $5.66 billion market cap. Now diluted, non-diluted, it doesn't really matter, but just food for thought. Um, if you do want to just add $400 million to the market cap, that would put us at around six billion dollars and a six billion dollar sui sui um that that will put you firmly okay uh kind of not just in the top 20 like we've seen right that would put them up almost two spots uh, as we'd be rivaling the likes of Chainlink and polka dot to get into the top 15 all right um it's moving and that's kind of what we have to look into and if you want to kind of track it and how this progress has been going well uh 80 spots in just 365 days has SWE moved up in the top 100 uh, up to the 18 spot right here, right now. So if you guys keep score, if you're into that kind of thing and you just you know want to believe in something that's moving, um, that was in that sweet spot. This is a top 100 crypto that is on the cusp of becoming a top 15 crypto, all right? Uh, it's something where you look into kind of how uh, it continues to uh, scale and um, you know what they're going to do when they respond to these allegations is kind of the biggest storyline going. Um, and I do want to share with you kind of this, if I can, uh, allow myself to pull this up on the screen. This was the actual post from the SWE uh, network on X. Um, and for some reason, it's not letting me 
uh, kind of show you this whole screen, but I will make it so you guys can see it. Okay, so this was back on October 14th, just a couple days ago. Um, no insiders, employees, or foundation or missed in labs, founders, investors sold $400 million of tokens, uh, either individually or combined. Um, this is something where no insiders have been involved in preemptive selling or violation of lockups in the circulating supply schedule. While the poster did not provide the wallet address, uh, we do believe that the likely owner of the wallet is an infrastructure partner who owns tokens under a lockup schedule. Okay, so think of it kind of like how, for example, uh, you have if you are based in the United States, it's a great example that I can give you. Think of it kind of more so, and this is just all speculation and hearsay, guys. It's not, you know, it's not the end all be all. This is my opinion. Okay, think about how you have um, contractors come into big big companies, right? Um, and in some situations, for example, General Electric, for example, um, if you work for General Electric, uh, you can have, you know, somebody come in, do a job. They have subsidiaries. They have kind of um, things under the GE umbrella, uh, but not necessarily um, directly employed. When you go to work every day, um, and what do they call those? Um, um, Divi not even divisions. It's another word for it. Um, but anyways, um, it, it's something where they just call it a corporation. It's incorporated, right? Uh, so if you go to work every day, you don't have a GE logo on your on your polo or your jacket. You have that other company. So it's something I think similar to that where you had somebody come do some work for SWE on the network uh, in terms of what they believe to be infrastructure. And it, it's kind of crazy though, because if you look at it, uh, $400 million is a big chunk of change. Okay. So uh, there is no wallet that's been discovered. Uh, this is something where we have not seen this. If you guys know any more about this and you want to kind of comment, give me some perspective, feel free, okay? Um, but it seems to be somebody that did some work for the SWE network, uh, had some tokens vested. Why that person has $400 million in tokens is, 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 a, is a bigger question than if this actually went down, okay? So um, that's kind of where I stand on all this. Um, let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. Uh, and I, I, I'm, and as a, excuse me, oh, cheers, more coffee for me. Uh, and as we get into the discussion for um, the TA behind Sweet, I want to talk a little bit about Margex, okay? Um, I know a lot of people trading Mar um trading SWE on Mar on Leverage. And Margex is a leverage trading platform that if you guys want to get involved, there are some cool stuff, uh, cool perks and stuff that you can get down with um, registering to claim up to uh, $10,000 in bonuses. Um, there is airdrops from time to time and a discount on trading fees, I believe, if you use my link to sign up in the description. So that there it is. This is a sponsor of the channel. Um, also, please remember there's no KYC. And if it's right for you and where you're located, um, sign up today using my link down below and get started trading on Margex. Okay. Um, and that's kind of what we're going to kind of segue into the chart with, because that's a perfect time to do so. Um, and I do sometimes use the chart from Margex to kind of show content on my videos, but this is where we look at more selling pressure ahead. Now, kind of interesting to see that if we talk about the token supply for SWE, uh, we only see 14% right now, uh, allocated to investors. And then we do have 50% in the community reserves. All right. So it's a kind of an interesting distribution. All right. And that's kind of something where it's definitely going to kind of challenge the scarcity and the tokenomics within SWE. And, and it does something where, you know, if you do get this green candle, this green run up going, um, and we do hit a bull kind of stretch here, the biggest thing here now is just making sure that the people that are invested are happy, uh, keeping them comfortable with what's going on in the ecosystem. Don't make this another Solana VC thing where you get a crypto pumping and the next thing you know, um, we're back into the bushes running because everybody thinks that we're getting dumped on. So um, that's kind of how I feel about it. Um, you know, unloading hundreds of millions of dollars, if that's true, if that tr proves to be the case, that's not how you're going to get investor confidence, okay? And that's kind of what I wanted to leave you guys with. But um, as we do look at uh, SWE, it's important. And kind of the TA behind this is, uh, like I said, we are above the SMAs. We flash and went them up back on September 20th uh, on my trading indicator. And by all accounts, since the token or coin I should say, since the inception back uh, just a little bit over a year time uh, back in May of 2023, this is just so, so bullish when we talk about um, cryptos that have um, kind of, you know, exploded from launch, they dump, uh, but this is looking like a very, very strong wave of activity where, you know, 
if we do see a $400 million sell-off, it's kind of crazy that we have not seen that uh, kind of hit the charts. And um, nonetheless, uh, this person probably is trading along the way as well. So I don't think they're just taking 400 million and just running uh, because if they did work for SWE, they probably believe in it. They just wanted to take some profits and start trading out there in the market. Now, um, that's something within crypto that I think needs to be improved upon, uh, improve the the kind of uh, reporting and and how you keep that on the up and up because if that would happen in traditional finance with, with large corporations, um, it would be definitely a red flag if they would just drop $400 million. You'd have to basically disclose and, and all the, all these disclosures and, and, reg, and reporting um, structures that are set in place. So um, I don't know. I'm kind of left un, uncertain on this one, but it, it's something where Swee's up. We'll take it. Uh, it's continuing to run. And so no complaints for me as, as long as it doesn't spark widespread hysteria. Uh, but in a time where the market is very, very greedful right now, as we look into the fear and greed above 60, um, I'm just going to keep my mouth shut and enjoy the ride. So um, that's kind of where I'm at. Uh, let me know your comments down below. I uh, appreciate you guys all watching my stuff here on the channel. I don't think anybody's talking about SWE, so I'm going to keep doing it. Uh, hope you guys consider uh, joining me for the ride. Uh, this is going to be a fun one. And um, please remember, though, everything I say on my channel, uh, do not confuse it with financial advice. Uh, these are just my thoughts and expressions uh, within how I view cryptocurrency. Okay, so uh, with that, I'll leave you, uh, leave you on your way, and uh, we'll see you guys all in the next video. Cheers.